This. Hello guys, it's your host Stone Channel here. In today's video, we're going to play Grand Turismo 3 A Specs. So we're gonna continue our uh, race on the legendary several arrows on this video. So let's get started. First, we need to buy our cars, and we definitely buy the Mercedes Benz. So again, this car is very, very expensive. If you want to have a good amount of money, you can also compete a tournament which I did in the previous video or doing an endurance race. So I will buy this car. Uh, I think I like the red one, but I rather like a uh, black because it's very luxury and sporty itself and I will uh, change the oil I think I would still need to use stock room because it's very very classy things on this car and we'll do on the Legend of Silver Arrows and I will do on the track on this track first because this track on, I will do on final because it's very boring so I will play on the Rome circuit first okay we are race on the Rome circuit and I'm using CRK55 so I didn't took a qualification because it took uh, time to do that one go very poor start and we managed to gain a position and we need to drive uh, perfectly because we need to win this race because we didn't tune the car I just only changed the oil your driving skill is very very needed so you need to win if you have uh, perfect skills like my driving and we took a high speed corner and the car in left side of me trying to overtake my car And we need to break more earlier than in front of me and gain the third gear and it's very narrow corner third gear we need to drive more careful and more perfectly And we managed to gain the pole position. Oh, I think I need a little breaks here, and we managed to pass the pole position with the dirty things. Okay, break earlier. We take the chicanes perfectly. Third gear. And we overtake and eh, not not overtake taking this second corner. And the gaps I think is a little bit closer. Fourth gear. Okay, we need to take the high speed corner, the double left and right hand side corner, and need to break earlier. And when uh, face the narrow corner, we need to nail it. Oh, it's very narrow, guys. The car in back in line of me 
uh, still lots of uh, we can more gaps and I think the car is very oversteer because we didn't tune the drive train and I feel the car is very oversteer Ouch, it's very very hard to handle Full gear And we finished the race The gap is uh, Increase and increase And we got 10,000 credits And we do another race And next one is Trial Mountain Trial Mountain is hard for this car because the car feels oversteer but this is the challenge of myself to prove this car is nailed of every conditions each of the races on this game third gear we pass the to the third position so easily the second position Driving skill is very very demanding Okay We took the corner perfectly The car feels oversteer So you need to Brake more earlier Third gear Okay, hairpin Okay, we took the corner flawlessly Okay, 4 gear, we passed the tunnel And the gaps is 1 second behind Okay, we passed the rocks corner Don't push too hard otherwise you will knock out and hit the rocks and you will lose your position okay don't push really hard up to the third gear double right hand side and left and ha right hand corner and we pass the start of finish line straight this is the final lap and we took a double left hand right hand side and we need to brake earlier than usual like a racing cars but this is not racing cars actually it's luxury sporty car with a bigger horsepower This is not a supercar, unfortunately. Uh, supercars are uh, introduced on the on Gran Turismo 4. The Gran Turismo 4 is released in 2005 for North America. The Europe, I think, is 2004. I was an junior high school students on back then I really like uh, Gran Turismo racing game science elementary school on the fifth grade because it's enjoyable and fun to play these racing games I like the idea the racing games uh, Kazunori Yamauchi from back then but I think the Grand Turismo 5 and Grand Turismo 6 I look, I lost my pa patience on that game series but when I look back on the Grand Turismo uh, like now I think I think I like very very lot 
because they over uh, like a more and more like a project cars but I think it's a little bit closer uh, we got another 10,000 credits but the really decent of the Grand Turismo uh, lately now they are joined venture with uh, FIA I really support the Kazunori Yamauchi decision but I think I need to uh, find a more passion of the latest game of the Gran Turismo to come and this is the final track on this video it's a test course it's two laps and very very long track I know guys you will very boring as I am second gear third gear fourth gear I need to do the slip streaming because it will really be easier to uh, overtake okay I think it's very easy I think I need to avoid the slip streaming why I not taking racing lines because the back of the pack car behind me is uh, had some slip streaming advantage so I need to avoid as much as possible so I think the gap is two seconds is I'm not worried about to do some uh, racing at the racing lines on this track. I know, guys, you will worry as fuck as I am because the track is over like. I think the track, this track is uh, retained until Grand Turismo 4. Grand Turismo 5 is changed. Special Stage Road X, I think. I didn't play that Grand Turismo 5 or 6 that much and only look at the I think other YouTubers playing on those games I think uh, Grand Turismo lately right now as a they didn't look at the their own masterpiece on the Grand Turismo 3. Grand Turismo 3 on the simulation mode on the car dealer is very very much more simply CD and also uh, go race as well. There's of different types of difficulties and I like that much on the features that offers on Grand Turismo 3. Oh. And don't be uh, look for that. I really also like uh, Grand Turismo Sports on the latest Grand Turismo games will to come. And the graphics is more insane. Just always uh, Kazunori Yamauchi Dreams, uh, the real driving simulator games. But I think the lack of the Grand Turismo game right now is they didn't have a F1 cars again because I, uh, they will put an adrenaline more than a Formula GT. Formula GT is decent, but it's, uh, I don't feel like any more. Uh, I think interest for that F1 is very very uh, challenging car to drive but I think Red Bull X1 car is very more demanding on the challenge than uh, F1 car because I think is the game the car is put on the, on the game they didn't put on the real life car purposes and the 
they had the signature of Sebastian Vettel back then. I really like that much. So we take a second of all parts. There is no corners unfortunately on this track. So you need to drive on the racing lines, on the straight lines and the oval parts. Yeah, it's kind of be boring. But it adds more and more adrenaline because it will reach the top of your car speed. It's demanding your transmission and your performance of your car and we finish on this race the gap in behind of my car is three seconds behind and we take another 10,000 credits and we exit on this kind of trace track and we got a Mercedes-Benz SLK I think it's kind of cheaper car and that's it for today's video guys sorry for my english because i'm not really a native speaker so don't bash me for that and again thank you guys for watching if you guys like my contents make sure you guys subscribe to my channel for the thumbs on my videos don't forget to share this video if you guys like it and check out my facebook page and my twitter account make sure you follow or like them I will put my social media links in this video description down below. I will see you guys next video. See you soon. Bye bye for now. Stay tuned.